the blood that you spill on the Muslims overseas, we're going to spill the blood of the Kufa. A News 10 NBC exclusive. We have the moment convicted Rochester terrorist Emmanuel Lutchman swore his allegiance to ISIS and the two FBI agents who took him down. No doubt in my mind, somebody would have died that day. At the time of his arrest, the case against Emmanuel Lutchman was the FBI's biggest terrorism investigation in the country. His plan was to attack and kill innocent people at a Rochester bar on New Year's Eve. But before he could carry out his attack, Lutchman was arrested by the FBI. And the two agents who led the investigation sat down exclusively with Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen. Burke? Brett, the FBI says Emmanuel Lutchman first got on their radar in 2014 when he was a member of the gang called the Crips, and he started posting things about Al-Qaeda on Facebook. But then he switched his allegiance to ISIS, and the FBI says that is when he became an imminent threat. So when he shifts from Al-Qaeda to ISIS, we're, we're concerned. FBI Special Agents Kevin Huey and Dan Funk were the lead agents investigating Emmanuel Lutchman. On December 26, 2015, they say Lutchman communicated with ISIS's top recruiter in Syria. At that point, we are in behavioral radicalization and we have to, we have to act at this point. They had four days. Lutchman was planning to attack on New Year's Eve. On the 27th, the FBI used a confidential informant to meet Lutchman. On the 29th, they learned his target was the Merchant's Grill, which was close to his home in Rochester. Then on December 30th, they learned that Lutchman was going to kill his wife that day. So you needed to move fast. So we needed to move fast, correct. They arranged for the confidential informant to meet Lutzman at a parking lot near his home. The informant recorded Lutzman swearing his oath to ISIS. Most of it is in perfect Arabic. Then he breaks into English. The blood that you spill on the Muslims overseas, we're going to spill the blood of the Kufa. In the side mirror, you can see a black SUV with the brake light on. That was the FBI, and Special Agent Huey was inside listening. As I'm listening to him swear his oath of allegiance to ISIS, I'm hearing an individual that was not going to turn back. When the recording ended, Special Agent Huey called the word strike. A SWAT team swarmed the car, and Lutzman was arrested. Did he ever say, you got me, I was going to do this? He admitted to um, taking all the steps, but he would not admit to that final step that I was going to do it. He admits to it in which he says, I'm number two. And, and we were saying, what do you mean you're number two? And he says, well, you got Elfke, now you got me. I'm number two. Mufid Elfke was arrested in Rochester by agents Huey and Funk a year earlier. He's in prison now for supporting ISIS. At the time of his arrest, Lutzman was labeled by his family as homeless and harmless. But the FBI says they caught a man who was intent on killing. He was told by Abu Isa al-Amriki, video someone, behead them, swear your oath of allegiance, and we will sponsor you to come over to, to Syria. This was not assemble a nuclear bomb. This is not assemble a, a massive attack, like a grandiose scale. This was something kind of easy to do. Well, the plan was e easy to execute, but with deadly consequences. Yeah. If you did not arrest him, and if you had never heard the name Emmanuel Lutchman, what would have happened? I believe something, somebody would have died. No doubt in my mind, somebody would have died that day. When he was sentenced to prison, he yelled to the federal judge, quote, there's going to be more of us. Coming up in a story new at 11, I asked the special agents, are there more Emanuel Lutchmans in Rochester right now? Berkeley Green News 10, NBC.